I was trying to Welcome. do a dog. A dog ah. What was that, bro? It was a dog. dog. Oh. 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 It's a yeah, German yeah. shepherd. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's a dog, lah, bro. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I know where you got that from. It's the Kuma. Yeah, yeah, My yeah, parents yeah. were German shepherd. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, we are the show. at the uh, second episode mm-hmm. for this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, before Dane, that, I just, I just want to ask you: Is this the slang that you're gonna adopt right now? Because for the first one, you're asking whether you should go all Singaporean slang. Yeah, yeah. Right. Or, uh, can American I can slang? I try this? Can I try? Please. Oh, you, you want to try this yeah. slang? Yeah. We already have Razi. Yeah. Yeah. We already have Razi to <laughs> do this slang. Why not? We, we have two Singlish guy lah. Razi is the Singaporean Singlish guy. Yeah, the Malayu oh, guy. Okay. okay. You're you're the you're the uh, Singaporean who went to study in the United States. <laughs> yeah. And then it's for seven oh, years. Okay. When you came back, you develop a slang. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. He's an American wannabe lah. Yeah. In a way. All right. Yeah. 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 So you're that guy. Okay. I'm very okay. I just want to do a bit of announcement, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. okay. we have our T-shirt though. Oh! We have okay. Let's go T-shirt. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. You want to talk about it? Yes, Zah? I want uh, to talk a lot about it. Uh, if you uh, yeah. go to www. Whoa, we got www. Of course, lah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Business progressing. W. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, before I even say WWW, uh, yeah. I just want to say thank you for all your uh, comments. Uh, a lot of you asking uh, when uh, are the merchandises going to roll out. Yeah. You want to start wearing uh, the shirt with OK Let's Go. You mm-hmm. want to start pasting things on your bus, uh, mm-hmm. on your vehicles, on your motorbike. Right. So we have uh, several products uh, on our online store. Okay. Yeah. That's at www.okletsgo.sg. Yeah. You can go there. Uh, we are rolling out black t-shirts first. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have black short sleeve for men. That's cool, man. <laughs> black long sleeve for men. Oh, well you must give sound effect, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, black short sleeve for female cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It will showcase Japanese. your uh, awesome figure oh. and. Oh, <laughs> and also uh, female uh, long sleeve, female cut lah, but it's in black. Yes. <laughs> I'm, that, I'm just trying to woman. imagine yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. a machi wearing it, mm, yeah. mm. and and wearing Good it for too. Zumba lah. <laughs> yeah. hey bro, that's awesome, yeah, right? That looks nice, bro. Nice, that's awesome, nice, bro. Yeah. I know yeah. machi is your shit, Azar. Uh, right. uh, no, no, not totally machi is my shit. <laughs> no, it, yeah, you don't which, think that all the machi that hey, you bro, Azar, could try ya? Oh, you gonna be mahal, bro. Um, it really depends on the kind of machi. Bro, machi is a paying class, bro. It's like you know the ketuk ketuk Ramadan lady. Uh oh, Sheila Rosli. Sheila Rosli. Yeah, that's my machi shit. Oh. oh Yeah, it's like that one Okay, I'm trying to It's not to like Datuk Sri Vida Kind of Makcik Eh, but that one also oh, Datuk Sri Vida is okay bro Alright, okay She has the money okay, yeah, I mean, that. Share it, bro. 10 the million money, bro. dollars uh-huh. Yeah For you to be her Papi For one year <laughs> One year So one I got year. to what? I got to entertain all her needs uh. Yes 10 Anything. million 10, 10 million what? Ringgit lah uh. 10 million dollars uh, bro. Dollars, dollars. Uh, what? For one time payment lah uh. Yes One time payment 10 oh, million hearts, One yeah. year Be her papi, bro. Would you take the challenge? Yes. Ten- yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 10 million, yeah. She's gonna be like every day, bro. Nah, never mind lah. I say first. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I have to be a papi. Yeah. Well, it's, it's gonna be tiring, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, but it's 10 million. Yeah, Dude, it's, I'll, it's I'll, about. I'll, I'll do it. I'll you do it, right? I'll do it, you yeah. do it, right? I'll yeah. Do it. I'll do it. Okay, you do it. Ten million. Ten million. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. Budget cuts. Budget cut. Yeah. Okay. What if she only has one million? Okay. <laughs> the same pay. thing. Ah, uh, one same year. Thing. You got to be a puppy. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What, bro? Lick uh, what? Lick the bone. What, she what? will give you a bone oh. for you to lick. Like nah, huh? He shot me. He shot me. He shot me. <laughs> so fetish lah. Fetish lah. Yeah, she. she <laughs> <laughs> like she wants you to lick a bone that she bought lah. Like you know, soap tulang she yeah, bought. Yeah, 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 yeah. After she finished eating, oh she God. washed the bone. Yeah. And then she threw it to. Nah, isa ni isa isa. Oh. Yeah, Kelantan. <laughs> you, you have to do that. Do yeah, that you have for to lick, one year. For one year, only only fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, so you no say la. one million, yeah. <laughs> no lah. <la>. Budget <laughs> cut budget. <laughs> 50,000 you want one one year ah uh, one year one year is very long bro okay, 50,000 okay, okay, like enough okay. yeah 120,000 for that year to be her puppy mm, no so deal. your gaji is around 12,000 bro no 12, deal no deal eh 12,000 eh no 12,000 can earn eh, 10, 000, sorry, I can 10, earn 10, like 56,000 70,000 <laughs> per, per month you see so not by being the dog ah, right yeah. yeah I mean you know easy, easily I sell my I sell our oh. podcast can hit like 1 million per podcast you see so <laughs> people will buy at that amount okay, okay. Like, I'm going to pull back To the merchandise that we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
How can we go there? <laughs> okay, so so four, uh, four different shirts for you to buy. Yeah. You know, one yeah. uh, one for I mean two for male, two for female. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Short and long sleeve. Mm-hmm. You can choose your sizes there quickly because we're going to open for only one week. One week of pre-order It's going to be a pre-order style Yes, of yeah. course So if you start your pre-order You pay via PayPal If you're not a PayPal account holder You can enter as a guest You can pay online as well Right yeah. So we have a week to collate All your uh, orders We have a cap For every size And for every style Of uh, of shirts that we're selling Right Because we don't want to Over deliver and over promise Right yeah. We want to take something That is of our capabilities only So for that one week You can ask around lah Who wants to buy If one person has a PayPal account Everyone bun to him or her Correct Then you can do the buying And we also have uh, stickers. Stickers, yeah. yeah. Stickers, stickers uh, for cars or for bikes. Anything you can paste it uh, at your door. You can paste it, uh, oh. you know, to stick it anywhere. On your helmet. Uh, on your if helmet. Yeah. If you're, on your yeah. motorbike. On the yeah. tank. If you put on the tank, right? Your motorbike full tank. <laughs> <laughs> If you put at your balls, right, yeah, your yeah. sperm full tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Full tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, full tank. But you have to shave first, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. not sticky. But yeah. the sticker yeah. will yeah. cover the whole ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And when the girls see it, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. If uh, yeah lah, you can. <laughs> you can buy the stickers. Stickers are quite affordable. And then if you have a vehicle, a car, if you grab driver, go jack driver, mm. taxi driver, you want just paste it. On yeah, the you. Car. Pay Paste it as a car decal as yeah. well. Uh, also very very cheap for you guys lah. Mm-hmm. Very cheap lah. You can buy in bulk. Buy many. Give a few. You know, spread the love. Spread the word. You guys are our troopers to spread this to even a larger audience. Yeah. So you can uh, melungsuri or you can <laughs> you can go to www.okletsgo.sg. Everything is there. Thank you guys. Buy our merch. Every merch that you buy. Merch, eh? yeah. Yeah, uh, it will actually help to in the production of our uh, podcast, lah. Yeah, and yeah. every merch that you buy can give us a merk. Kira mesti di sini, kira mesti di sini. Merk, merk, merk. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our topic. Okay. Yeah. For today, yeah. It's about... hey, that, that's my that's my oh, language. Sorry, bro. sorry. That's yeah. his lingo, bro. Sorry, my yeah. lingo. Sorry, not so, language. So our topic for today it's about um bullying. You must have had um bullying. So okay, you 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 really we really we share, share our that, stories yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah, it's time for Za Ismail oh, to share okay. your shit. So you, uh, <coughs> yeah. I really like your your sharing of the hostel. Oh, it really got to me when uh, <coughs> the abang besar kind of like squeeze squeeze the, the big brother. Yeah, uh, the his, water out of the the socks. Water juice lah. I mean his yeah. uh, leg juice. Uh, to be precise, uh. he was he just came back from playing soccer, bro. Watch it, yeah. Kurang yeah. ajar siya dini. Yeah, and it was raining, and then he came back. Kurang ajar siya. <laughs> bro, it's just like you're so affected about that. Aku affected, no, why? Why? No, because no, because yeah. when you say your parents came yeah. with a lot of Maggie, yeah. you know that's uh, hard work, bro. Normally in hostel, uh, the yeah. food is shit. Yeah, yeah. would you agree? Yeah. The yeah. food is shit. Yeah, Maggie mm. is like at that point of time something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, our wardrobe, right? Uh. Uh, I have this particular box where I, I kept my all my foods. Mm-hmm. If let's say my mom came with KFC yeah, or, yeah, or yeah, chicken, yeah. Uh, fried chicken or whatever, yeah. good food lah. Yeah. So I will keep them inside the box mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that the those uh, Can eat hooligans, la, right? oh. uh, hooligans won't see it. Oh. I, I, I would love to share with my friends mm-hmm. but not to them. You know oh. what I mean? So that's the idea. To have that particular box where I can lock it, and, and, and to squeeze his leg juice it's into the, and then yeah. the rest would were were forced and to he, eat, and they, forced. they ate. Yeah, yeah some of them like, ate it because wow. forced, bro. Then <coughs> they vomited, bro. That's why. Yeah, say, yeah, right? exactly. So that's why Bastards, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I I don't want to. <laughs> no, yeah, serious really, though. Really, really, really. I see that guy, ah. Uh. Exactly right. That's why. Kurang ajar, yeah. Yeah. So until now, I haven't seen yet. But some of my friends did. And did they what? Did did saw him? Oh, uh, did, did see him? Uh, when like I think two years back. Uh. So we did talk about it. Like, so how that fu- how's that fucker? And we uh, did talk uh, about him. Yeah, like, yeah. like some of them like really wanna like smack him. Mm, 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 so uh, they saw him uh, in I don't know where jalan jalan that something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And he's very thin. Uh-huh. You know he's Frey really la. fucked up. I don't know. Uh, it, that's what my friend said. Good for him lah. Good for him lah, man. What so good for him? Good for him lah for you being. You saw him, you cut his toe, ah, bro. Oh, yakuza. Yeah. A lot of people, <laughs> uh, a lot of our friends, my friends, like actually, there's a there's a vengeance, ah. Uh. 
Yeah, of course. Now, oh, of it's course. really fucked up, man. There's a lot of things that happen as well. Exactly. But these are yeah. things that we can revisit in a while. All right. So enough about me. Uh, yeah. That, that's when you were in in uh, secondary Asrama. school. Asrama. Secondary. Mahat, bro. Mahat. Mahat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hostel, now hostel. for Zah. Okay. He did tell us a bit. Oh man. They're gonna about your you being bullied in your secondary school, primary yeah. school, or your Is it secondary or primary? Secondary school, bro. Secondary I think school. primary school. Uh, a lot of small bullying cases. I bully people. People bully me. It's like a, a healthy ecosystem lah. Okay, okay, you know? okay. But when in secondary school, it was uh, it was really something else for me ah. Things get serious lah, basically. Things get serious, man. You know, bros, you know me lah. I'm not the sort who will create a lot of trouble lah. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Huh? Oh, you don't know? Okay. I thought you trouble maker, bro. No lah. <laughs> no ah. No ah. Don't cheat by lah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, I'm not the sort who create a lot of trouble. I mean, people who know me, who yeah, grew yeah. up with me, they'll know I'm an introverted guy. Yeah. I'm yeah, very quiet. Right. I'm not even like this in the uh, outside. I'm not even like how I am in the podcast outside. Yeah, of course, of course. Mm-hmm. I'm very reserved. Uh, that was how I was uh, from sec two to sec three. I got pushed to the science classes. Okay. And uh, at that point, I was doing really well for my sec twos. So um, you you guys do know that I don't want to be in the science classes. I wanted to do something about arts and humanities, yeah. but my parents mm-hmm. wouldn't allow me. Yeah. So I had to take triple science. So that was when wow. the nightmare started. Which mm. school, bro? Can you say? It? I can't say the school lah because what I'm going to share with you uh, is going to implicate the school lah. Okay. Oh, school still exists lah. School still exists. Okay, I can't la, share with you the name of the school lah. Okay lah, okay lah. So when I, when I was in uh, sec three, I was put in the best class. Expert, uh, it was in a, no. It's not really a che thing. Huh? You you really? all will see like, what like, che best. No, I was the shittiest student in the best class. Oh, what so, do you mean? Sh- 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 that means is? in terms of my studies, I was I was really oh, very bad. Really okay. very bad. I was getting like F 9s E 8s oh. for my physics, chem, biology. For my maths, I was doing really badly. You know, we had like A maths and E maths. Yeah. Mm-hmm. E maths really ah, uh, cukup cukup makan. Mm-hmm. Then my AMS was really, uh, was really failing really badly. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Now that school have a very good reputation academically. Every time O levels, right? There'll be a, you know, it is the school to look forward to. Ah, uh. yeah. parents want to send. The cut off point at the time was about two, three, three to go to the express stream. Yeah, la. really tough mm-hmm. at that point in time, lah. So um, because of the good record the school has, right? Every eyes, every teacher eyes had uh, pinpointed on me, lah. Mm. Uh, they know I was the weakest link. They wanted to get me out of the top class fast because if not during O levels, it will affect their their ratings in that, mm. in that sense, like, yeah, their well. reputation as well, mm-hmm. lah. Mm-hmm. So um, throughout the whole uh, secondary school years, it was really really tough on me, and it did not help. At that point in time, I was the only Malay student mm-hmm. in a class of fully Chinese. Ah, really? Yeah. Hundred percent all Chinese. You are the only <coughs> Malay. I was the Malay student. There, there was not even an Indian student. Okay. In that class, oh. but uh, here's the thing. Uh, I grew up really well together with my classmates. They they have never looked upon me as a man, uh, Malay man. But no lah, oh. they have never uh, looked down on me as as a as a Malay student. Mm. Even though I was struggling with my Uh, with studies. my studies at that yeah. point time, but here's the thing: after it went to sec four, uh, things got really worse. Um, news of my shitty performance in academy, in, in the academics, uh, have reached the ears of the principal, the vice principal, the teachers. Mm. So everyone had like this vendetta against me, lah. Like I was a black sheep that uh, they had to get rid of. I was the shit in the class that they have to get rid of. The only way to get rid of a triple science student is one. It's only one way, ah, uh, oh. which is asking the student in Sec 4 to drop all my triple science subjects, drop all, and then do a combined science, lah. That oh. means I take an easier English, uh, no, I take an easier physics chem or chem bio. Yeah. So to them, this will help me to better manage my studies, ah, uh, and then cut the number of uh subjects that I take for O levels. Mm-hmm. So in that sense, they look at it as like Eliza won't feel so badly, ah. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Although right okay. now it might it might it might uh, seem like the best option for mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. uh, but the way that they approach this right was really very traumatic. Ah. Uh. Mm. Uh, I was subjected to a lot of racism in the school. Oh. A lot of racism in the school. Um. Tr- as because I was very quiet and I was uh you know I was the sort who 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 don't uh, respond back. They have tried every way to try to pinpoint me as a very bad student. Uh. You know when when someone don't react, they try to. Yeah, make you react yeah, so provoke, they can uh, provoke, uh, provoke and then, and then yeah. when you react like, ah, yeah, these are that's why ah, you are you are the problem yeah, 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 yeah. that was what they did uh, to provoke me to try to make me do things so that they can use it in their favor to kind of like uh, either expel me or uh, make me drop the subject combinations that I have to take another combination so uh. the day that is example, referring they are re- you refer to 
The teachers or the, the students? The teacher, the the discipline master. Discipline oh master. Oh my god! Yeah, it's just some of the things that I experienced uh, throughout my sec three and sec four. Uh, at that point of time, the the discipline master was this Chinese guy. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, very orthodox. It was a very orthodox guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, very I would say right wing ultra Chinese guy. <laughs> very right wing. Ah, uh. very right wing. <laughs> like literally, you can see when he sets his eyes on me. Ah, uh, uh-huh. he's like full of disgust. Sure. And like, what's up, Alaman? He's sampa, shit, fuck. Ah, uh. you can you can feel no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't have to say anything. You can look from his eyes the way you look at him. Like, hey, sir. You know that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I, every I, time, every time, I'm not the sort who who smoke who who you know go yeah, to yeah. shop leave or whatever. Mm. I was just there. I was just bad academically. Yeah, that's it. Mm. So they they have this. Uh, I was in 4E1. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first class lah. The, the first class. class. Yeah. So because of my bad grades, right? Uh, the principal and also the the what you call it the discipline master came up to me, and then they say, okay, uh, right now we are not going to put you in 4E1. You are undeserving of the class. Wow. I'm going to create a special class called 4E9. Mm. So 4E9, this class, uh, every morning you don't have to go to your class. You just go sit right in front of the office, and we will have a table for you. And in that table, there will be a white circle around. You are not allowed to go out of the white circle. We will just give you ten year series, and you just do your work there. So from 8 a.m. all the way to 2 p.m., I'll just sit right in front of the office, go for recess or whatever. But I just have to sit down there. You know, you understand. There's a lot of humiliation here. Of course, yeah. no, when you were the only one. I was the only one in in the foyer, and then there was a table right in front. That, uh, uh, I had my name printed very big. Ah, uh, Mohammad Zab in his smile, and then right below they put it 4E9. Now there are only six express classes, bro. 4E1 all the way to 4E6. Yeah. There's no nine. Mm-hmm. So they even skip seven eight. Yeah. They put nine. Then then I was saying why 4E9? Ah, uh? yeah, because you are not even deserved to call 4E7. I'll call you 4E9. Is the lowest number. That's what the principal tell you. Yeah, that's the what principal told me. So, so I had to sit outside. I was sit, uh, I had to sit outside, and then it was very humiliating because like sometimes outside the office, ah, uh, parents will come in to talk to the gen, uh, general office staff, and then people want to send things. Got to go through the general office. Everyone will will walk past me and look up. Like, why is this guy here? For you know, what's this guy? You get me, you no? Know, I was subjected to a sort of humiliation. Oh, humiliating, sir. Um, and there was one time when I forgot to do my homework, lah. Oh. I mean, these things happen, right? Yeah. As a student, there will be times you forgot to do your mm-hmm. homework, lah. Yeah, there might be punishment for it, lah. I still remember exactly what the what the uh, discipline <coughs> master come and tell me, lah, when mm. I forgot to do my homework, right? Mm-hmm. So I was uh, coming to him, and then he showed me a list of of uh, of offenses that is cannibal offense. Never do homework. This one is actually two strokes, no. Oh. Dude, you know, at that point of time, uh, I have never had public caning before. Yeah. It's something that really scare me, you know. That I I was in the express class. I I am a good student. I'm mm-hmm. well behaved. Mm-hmm. So the rest of you who are thinking like ah, public caning, I've taken it before. No, yeah. I wasn't that kind of student. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. These things scare me. Mm-hmm. You know, I know. It's like, I'm not like that. Why? Why I never do homework? Kena kena. Mm-hmm. So he can see he was playing. He was playing this out. Your religion, uh, your religion teach you to be like this, ah, uh, huh? Never oh, do homework. Seriously, oh, yeah, bro. He's he's sick like that. Religion, ah. He bye. No, he said that lah. Um, and, and really, it really, it really hit me quite hard lah. Because I'm thinking like, hey, why, why bring religion to this? Yeah, it has nothing to do with religions. Yeah, if I don't do my homework, it's just because of my. My own, uh, my own problem lah. Yes. Maybe I never, never do my homework. So you just have to keep quiet. I just keep quiet, bro. Oh. I never even say anything. Okay. I just keep quiet. I say no, it's not. Ah, uh, then what you do at this? No, very bad. Uh, it reflects very badly on your religion. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. So I just kept quiet, and then I was thinking, this guy receives or what? Uh? Yeah, and yeah. there were several other incidences as well. Uh, right after assembly, I still, I, I still remembered all these incidences because it was so, so deeply embedded in my heart. Yeah. Uh, after the assembly was over, my class had to stay back lah because the discipline master wants to do a um, like you know a customary check check on your hair check on the fingernails. Yeah, fingernails so, mm-hmm. so only four E one was was asked to stay back. The mm-hmm. rest, uh, the rest can like go, uh, go back to class lah. Mm-hmm. So everyone was right in front of the parade square. Mm. Uh, in the sun, and then uh, the discipline master came. You know that ultra Chinese guy came and look at uh, look at my whole class. Uh, any one of you, any one of you, uh, don't speak Chinese. What he asked me that. That's what he said. He said that, dude. You know, you already knew you're discipline master. Yeah. You you have seen me before. Mm. I was in that class, and I was the only Malay. You know what? Uh, I was yeah, the only exactly. Malay. You know I think Malay what? Uh, yeah. And then you can ask me something like that. Like any one of you, uh, cannot speak Chinese. 
So I raise my hands, yeah. Okay. I raise my hand like some yeah, bodo boy lah. Right, you don't know, man. I mean, uh, naive lah, bro. Ah, uh, naive lah. Yeah. No, I know. I was thinking like, you know what? But never mind. I just raise my hand up. Like, kena bodo bodo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I raise my hand. Then everyone, I, I, the the part where I I felt so humiliated was all my classmates look at me, and their look in their faces, ah. Uh, It's like the smirk. No, it's not no, smirk. It's not smirk no, bro. my my classmates were the were the best people around. No, I they see. were very supportive. No, okay. But it is like a a a a face of sorry. You know, like something oh. like I, I, as if I can I can read inside their mind like Zah, we're very sorry for this. Not all Chinese are like this. Please understand. understand. You know that sort of yeah, thing. They yeah. don't have to say anything. But when I look into their faces, I understand. Everyone, oh, look at with the pity face. Like, alamak, mm. Zah, why ah, uh, ah, uh, mm. how ah, uh, what do we say ah? Uh? We mm. also scared to say because we are in front of this master. Mm. This master was looking at me like. Okay, so got one Malay. Uh, uh, someone translate to Chinese to him. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna speak in Chinese. What? He said that, yeah. He said oh, that. This thing happening. Hey, yeah, dude, it happened, uh, yeah. My heart just collapsed, man. When I hear that, yeah. What? What? What the fuck, yeah? What the hell? Mm. What the hell? Mm. So I just kept quiet. I just uh, keep quiet, and then after that, I just listen to whatever he has to say, lah. Mm. I think mid uh during mid briefing, he changed back to English. I think he realized that what he did was quite racist in nature, uh. Yeah. I think he was saying, "Oh, lah, my better not lah." Sekali he complained to MOE, how ah? Exactly. You know, that's all shit. So, yeah. so that kind of thing happened. Ah, uh, and then they made me sign. They made me sign a contract. <coughs> they made me sign a contract. They say, "Okay, you're gonna do your prelims soon. Ah, uh, if you fail your prelims, right, you have to drop all your triple signs and then do combined sciences." They all, tell me all this contract you know whatsoever is actually no, does they, it exist? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't it's just personally that's for you. That's the thing. That's and the thing. Yeah, they 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 drafted a contract and then they say, <sighs> okay, come to the principal office. I need to see you. Okay, so, so I see you. Uh, yeah, you are uh, okay. In 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 the eyes of the ministry, right? Mm-hmm. You you as a student, mm-hmm. you if you want to drop out of a particular subject, mm-hmm. you have to. A volunteer, agree, la. a volunteer, volunteer. or want to drop okay. out from the. They cannot force you to opt out yeah. of the subject. Yeah. So I could have opted out from the subject. I could mm. have done it, bro. Mm. If they were to ask nicely or they make it more palatable, lah. Yeah. yeah. But the fact that they did so many things to me like this, I did not want to drop just for the sake of a protest, ah. You understand? Yeah, just yeah, to show them like fuck you, lah. I'm mm. not. I'm. I know. I, I'm. I'm failing, but I'm not going to drop my subjects. Just so that you will win Because if I drop You win bro yeah. Yeah, If yeah. I drop They win yeah. So I didn't Call my They they made me sign The contract So I signed it mm. And then I failed my prelim Spectacularly bro <laughs> Spectacularly <laughs> I got a 39 L1 R5 39 mm. And then Some of the teachers Were kept coming in So apparently There was talk In the staff room lah. They were talk about me lah, Like how I was like I'm not I'm not dropping subjects And then one of them The one that really hurt me, one of them came up to me. One of them uh, that I really looked up to, no, yeah. he was really a very nice teacher when he was uh, taught me literature, lah. Then he just came up to me with my 49, 49 uh, so called makeshift class. Mm-hmm. He walked in front. Why are you seated here? Uh, because I'm in 49. Ah, uh. you know your prelims, ah, uh, you cannot even go ITE, you no. Know? ITE don't even want someone like you. Oh. And then he walked away. You know, there's that like teachers just come in front and say, "Hey, what are you doing?" Ah, huh? 39. Ah. Uh. Shitty lah You can't even make it lah mm. Then walk away And okay. I never ever say anything though I just sit down there I just like I take this abuse I just take it I just take it I just take it What kind of teachers are they? Yeah it's, it's really fucked up lah But you know What really made me Fired up mm. Was that One teacher I still remember his name Mr. Faiz He's, He he didn't even Taught my class mm. He didn't even teach my class Yeah He was a Malay teacher uh, I was buying some food lah At the halal store lah And Then he was also Lining up beside me Then he came up to me. He ever even met me before, no? Mm-hmm. Tak pernah ajar my. Uh, you are Zah. Yeah, I'm Zah. He was lining up. Yeah, I'm Mr. Faiz. Yeah, I know. I know, sir. Uh, I've heard a lot about you in the staff room, ah. Uh. And then he said something that really made me really fired, fired up, ah. Uh. A lot of people saying that no, you are a bad student, lah. You know, you are, you cannot achieve the grades, lah. And you they pull the national every you pull the school average down. Tunjukkan orang. Tunjukkan Melayu beli bikin. Gimana pos dengan orang? Tunjukkan he orang Melayu yeah, He said that to me Tunjukkan pun. orang Melayu Boleh bikin sah. That that means If I were to translate it wow. Show them That your race can succeed hmm. Show them That what they are thinking of you Is not true Fight for it wow. It was one of the few teachers That came up to me And said that I was so fired up And then uh, the next day, my mom had to come to the principal office mm-hmm. because uh, they were still on the issue of me dropping subjects. Mm-hmm. And then my mom came. My mom was a fighter, I tell you. Yeah, mom can came, see. My, my mom came into the office with the principal. The principal, first thing he shouted at my mom. 
Shut up your mum Shut lah, yeah. Why are your son Going to be with this kind of uh, L1R5 huh? Cannot be a doctor Cannot be a lawyer What <coughs> See that My mum keep quiet Then he My mum shout back The principal mm. Mum was like Hey hello I sent my son to school uh, Not to be a doctor Or lawyer lah. He can be whatever He want to be uh. Why my shout to me huh? I complain to MOE Then you know She's <laughs> to the principal What like, a yeah, fighter You can say that yeah. to the principal lah. Principal after hearing MOE Manggalaba Jack uh, <laughs> I was like hey, hey, hey If you have a problem In your family right Do you call the police No right Huh? <laughs> the principal said that. Principal said that. Uh, we try to settle things inside. Hey, hello. I will. I'm backing my teachers 100%. Ah, huh? you know that sort of thing. Oh. Like. So I was like thinking like, what the hell is going on? So there was like an exchange of words, and my mom was shouted at. I don't go really into details of it, lah. Mm-hmm. And my mom shouted back at him. He shouted back at my mom. Seriously, yeah. principal did that. Yeah, bro. What xiao liao wa la. So after the whole thing uh, Shut up Azzy <laughs> The thing that hit me was yeah. that After the whole thing When she mm. went out right mm. My uh, my mum was like Really very adamant About me Not dropping the subject mm. And then she was even telling me Don't drop the subject Don't drop <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it But you must understand As a student uh, You know you're facing With this power yeah. That is against you mm. And whatever Small things that you do Will be magnified mm. Everything Small things that you do Will be magnified So um, at home When I reach back home right My dad will be like saying uh, So have you heard How the principal shot at your mom And after that I was like Yeah I, I did And he said something In the line of My dad was saying So you're not going to fight For your mom huh? You're not going to fight For your mom <laughs> He shouted He disgraced your mom <laughs> Your dad shot like that My dad shot like that Dia nak malukan Mangga Kau tahu apa-apa So I don't know Whether he was trying To fire me up I was just yeah. like You know, I, I I will never fight back. I was like, yeah, don't worry. I'll study hard. I'll study hard. Mm. You know, that's what thing. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it's a fucking shitty school. Uh. I I never want to, even when there's like homecoming, uh, some of uh, the teachers that really love me will be like, Zawi, coming back. I say, I'll never go back to that school. Never go back to that school. You oh, tell the teachers. Uh. Tell the teachers, uh, I hate that school. I hate that school. So yeah. how, how was your exam after that? So right after that, yeah. I studied really hard and I I had to thank certain teachers. Uh, not everyone was like that. There were yeah. a few bad fruit lah, that really mm. came up to me and and really gave me a lot of uh, bad rap. Lah, you know, humiliated me. The the the, the, the principal, the... Uh, who's that guy? The discipline master, master. You know, really... Uh, Really affected me there, there is this fear Have you had A fear When you're not Come to school You are so scared That you feel like Vomiting Yeah, yeah I felt yeah. that before Yeah so yeah, That same. was what I felt Want to go to the office bro Want to sit at After assembly You know that After assembly Everyone uh, line up really, right? They mm-hmm. all go to their class right Correct But you just stay back And you walk on your own To the office oh, yo. Sitting right in front It's a shitty feeling I tell you Science, yeah. Fucking shitty feeling For how long you have to do that bro? It's about close to 7 months 7, 8 months yeah, you that. Then you don't even go for the class I don't even go for the class I don't even go for the class So what do you study then? That means teachers Don't even teach me ah, bro Yeah Do you exactly. understand? That's the problem I just do 10 year series I was like, I, that mm-hmm. means they deprive me of a proper education. Mm-hmm. Dude, if this shit happen this day and age, die I make it, they die. Uh, they die. They bro, die if la. they are still teaching, bro, you can <sighs> bring this to the upper management, you bring this to the ministry. Well, there's a good story to all, there's a good oh, ending okay, to this. Okay, ending, okay. Right after whatever that happened, uh, I think there was one teacher that really helped me out. Uh. I think her name was Mrs. Tio. La. Please, please say the name again. Mrs. Tio. Okay, Mrs. Tio. Yeah, right. she was my chemistry teacher and she was the one who saw... Uh, Some positivity To whatever that's happened She called me And then she said uh, Are you studying well at home? I said I try to study uh. Okay why not you study with me Oh, uh, That means after finish school Like nice. 2 o'clock uh, I'll report to her So from 3 to 5 Or 3 to 6 p.m. I'll just sit beside her In the HOD uh, office yeah. She's a HOD lah And then she will uh, Give me some Tension series And I'll just do I say anything you don't understand You can ask me So I'll be beside her uh, hmm. Like her puppy Oh. So, is she hot? Uh, uh, yeah, she she's hot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll just do my work, and then I don't understand. Uh, Mister, can you uh, explain to me? Then she she'll take the time to explain. She stop her marking. Oh, she stop her meeting. So, nice. so she just explain to me every day for about a month without fail. I'll come to her office, and then I have to do the tennis series. This was what was made mandatory, lah. She said, okay, don't sit in front of the uh, office. Sit with me. I'll just uh, tutor you, ah. She and was sent by God, actually. Yeah. You know. No, even then, when I was sitting beside her, <laughs> nice. right. In the HOD office yeah. Other teachers will walk past And say Wow oh, like baby Like that I Must sit beside teacher Then study uh. Like that Then the HOD Don't do anything uh, bro Mrs. Steele No they don't do anything They cannot Because they're members bro It's their, it's their colleague You get me no oh, They just like Keep quiet They just smile Like never mind But here's the thing For For all levels uh, I got 
And L1 R5 was 16 Wow, it's good So Congrats. 16 After one month of Really pure studying Someone to handhold me So all you need is Sometimes a bit of belief uh. Exactly I was doing something That I I thought I'll fail I was getting F9 and E8 For for my subject Yeah And uh, of all the darkness You say why don't I pursue this You know mm. I've I've forgiven everyone huh? <laughs> Forgiven sia Are you sure yeah, lah, bro yeah, No lah no, no, uh, no, no, How do <laughs> I do this lah, bro. <laughs> No means no lah bro <laughs> <laughs> you you no, okay, don't forgive the them But you move on really Simple yes, as that Okay Yeah that's yeah. a better word I, I know, haven't forgiven I, I, I haven't yeah. forgive them, forgiven them It's but, been years already Yeah right? it's been years But I've moved on But the thing is Whenever I walk past there right? Whenever like I ride past there I see the school uh, the, the the hatred feeling come back no? Everything comes back And it clouds my mind So I was thinking uh, There's always a silver lining To everything um, And whenever you feel that You are being subjected To some sort of racism In your school or whatever In your workplace Always look to the positive side lah. For me The racism came from my Discipline master Yeah You know For my back then My principal But the pillar of support Were my classmates Because they were yeah. Everyone was Chinese And yeah. they were empathetic towards me They were They were sympathetic towards my cause And they even came down to help And then the one that helped me out Was also a Chinese teacher Yeah You mm. know to, to bring me out from that cloud And yeah. uh, that that was actually I feel was uh, was my bullying experience. How I felt I was bullied by not my classmates, but people that I entrust to educate me. Yeah, they were the ones who were who were bullying me. Oh. And uh, <laughs> the, 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 the story. What do me your sympathy? I'm just like oh. sharing. It was one more incident. I think okay. it's just a short one. Uh, no, okay, it's okay, bro. After yeah. after the whole brouhaha happened, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, I had to do the O levels, and mm-hmm. I think at that uh, during that year, uh, it was 9-11 nine eleven, nine one one. Remember nine one one? Yeah, September eleven saga. Yeah, and then uh, I I face I face quite some uh, some things lah. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, during uh, after the paper, right mm-hmm. when we were. Going out and then eating at the at the uh, recess area. Um, I still remember that day very well. Uh, after 911, one uh, my friend was holding a newspaper. My mm-hmm. friend was really a good friend of mine. Ah, uh. mm. Chinese guy, really soft spoken, very nice. Yeah, and I was sitting there, I was reading. Ah, uh, then I came to him like, bro, what was in the news? Mm. Then you, he was he was trembling with anger. Oh, he was showing me the the paper. Say, you see lah, you see lah. Then he say like, "Eh, hey, wow, so rabah, ah. you know, the two twin towers collapse." Mm. And then he said something that really hit me. Ah, he said, "You Muslims, ah, cannot see us Christians, ah, huh? You Muslims, ah, always want to find fault, ah." Mm. Oh, he like said, he said he used the word "you Muslims." Mm. I was taken aback. I wasn't angry, ah, bro. I wasn't mm. angry when we say something. I was like, I was actually a bit sad, ah, when mm. he said something like that because he's a good friend of yours. He's a good la. friend. Yeah, he was soft spoken. I've never seen him angry in my life mm. during my time with secondary school. Then when he mentioned something, I was like, "What made him feel so angry?" So I had to like on my part, like, "Bro, you cannot be angry uh, with me. You cannot say the word you Muslims. I I don't think this is representative of all Muslims oh, who did that. Mm. No, these are terrorists. We are we are different people, bro. We're yeah. different people, bro." And then I I had a talk with him, close to 15 minutes. Ah, uh, you know, he shared with me his grievances. He shared with me his anger, and also his um, uh, his experience. Mm. With with people uh, around him lah that made him felt like that, mm-hmm. and I think I I just want to highlight that particular incident that uh, I I spend some time to educate him. Right. I think this is very important. Mm. You no, know, when you meet people outside who has this, the term is Islamophobia lah. Mm. Right. Correct. You, you need to spend some time to really explain to them to really disseminate the meaning behind our religion mm-hmm. that it, it actually means peace. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad I did that. Because wow. we're still friends till today. Right. Imagine if for that amount of th- uh, during that time, if you were to come to me and say you Muslims did this, and I was I were to be very defensive. Yeah. I say no lah, you Christian also the same ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will it will not have had yeah. a happy ending. Of course, of you course, know. Yeah. So that for me was uh, what I experienced. One more, maybe one more, a very short one. Bro, rem- okay, bro. Just say it, bro. Come on. I remember. <laughs> During geography class, geography okay. class, I I I wrote down my name in Arabic, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I just learned <laughs> there. Why, why you do that, bro? No lah, I just learned it lah. Oh. I just learned how to write my name in Arabic lah. Just to test water, right? Okay. Uh, for my uh, that time was my worksheet ah. Uh. Wasn't mm. even a test. It was a worksheet. Okay. I wrote my name using the Arabic, mm. uh, the Arabic words ah. Uh. And then I sent it to uh, my. <laughs> 
Okay, time to uh, pass your worksheets to me. So everyone go to the teacher, pass. And then like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> the, the teacher was an old auntie. Lah, like, what is this? Uh, that's my name in Arabic. What if people think you are terrorist? Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> what kind of thinking is that? Yeah, yeah. so these were some of the things that I experienced. That I think uh, it's very important for me to put it out there that uh, ignorance still exists in yeah, our society. Yeah. And if you don't do about it, you choose to ignore, you're not doing them a favor, man. Yeah. You know, I, I like how how people, when when you react to something, right, you post like um, comments on status on Facebook or Instagram uh, with any violent thing that happened, any terrorism act, you know, you either give uh, condolences or you, or you, or you, you know, you criticize yeah, a certain yeah. attack or whatever. Right. And then people will come in. Ah, uh, don't fan the flames of hatred. Right, right, uh, right, right. Better not post this. Yeah. No, if you choose to be ignorant about things that happen around you, if you want to just be that person to let all this violence slide through and not say anything about it, then what you are doing is just uh, you actually allowing this mm. to breed. You letting ignorance breed. Yeah. You letting yeah. stupid people to have their say because stupid people will not keep quiet. Correct. They will talk. Yeah. So if you have some sense, if you have, uh, in fact, a lot of common sense in you, and there's a message that you want to say of peace, mm. say it out. You got to say it out. I'm talking about people of influence, your asatizas, your leaders, people who are in the lines of teaching, who are educating our kids. When there's something bad happen around the world, don't shut up. You got to denounce certain things. You got to say certain things. You got to make your stand right. Yeah, you have to explain yeah, to them lah. Yeah, because sometimes explain. they don't understand. If you keep quiet, yeah. you just letting the stupid people, stupid people will talk, bro. Yeah, that's the problem with Facebook. Empty Instagram. cans are empty cans lah. Yeah lah. Yeah. <laughs> stupid mm. people will talk. Although you ask them to stop, they will talk. So if you don't counter with a right amount of intelligence, mm. they will be allowed to breed their ideologies. Yeah. Because so, to them, like, if we don't say anything, then it means we agree to them. No, yeah. We don't dare to debate because yeah. we are in, in, in the wrong, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So please, yeah. La, uh, use social media well. Um, so that's my bullying story okay. in school. You don't okay. have to clap okay. everything, lah, then. No, 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 no. Basically, if yeah. I were you, yeah. I, I think uh, I can just keep quiet. Uh-huh. Okay, you know, that 4E9 class that I have to sit Yeah. On that chair and sitting in front of a table, I think I will just uh, push the table away. Serious, bro? Yeah, I will do that. And if the principal shot at my mom, yeah, you know what I will do? What you do? I'll take an egg and hit on the head of the principal. Egg, ah? Yeah, egg. Wow. Yeah. So you will be known as the egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, he's he's still in service though. Yeah. Oh, still in service, yeah, bro. Yeah. I, uh, I, 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 you tell me which school are you from. Uh-huh. I want to try to just peep and look how he looks like. I just okay, want can. to know how he looks like. Botak head. Confirm a bit botak one, confirm. A bit, uh, yeah. <laughs> confirm, how you know? Uh? It's standard one. Principal a bit botak one. <laughs> it's standard, bro. Yeah. I think okay. every day, every morning, yeah. he's looking at the mirror mm. and he said like, oh, I'm very fucked up and ugly, yeah. I no, wanna, I don't oh. think so. Like, wait, wait. <laughs> No, he said Then he came, came yeah. to the school And yeah. like Okay, I will just bully this guy lah. Yeah okay. <laughs> My life is fucked up already You know what I mean Wow well, uh, Talking about bullying We have uh, We we like to thank Razi actually Because yeah. he have had the opportunity To bring in one of uh, One of our listener yeah, yeah, Into yeah, yeah, yeah. the studio uh-huh. So we talk about uh, Bullying in schools right. uh, yeah. This lady over here Her name her Not not her real name lah. We yeah. call her Sarah lah. Sarah, yeah Uh, she has been bullied by her family, right? And oh. I think bullying is uh, across lah. It's not not only at work. Uh-huh. It's not only in in schools. It's also in the family as well. Mm, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna yeah, hear yeah. a bit of a, a sound clip right after this. Okay. But give me a just sort of a gist of what's so. happening. Uh. Gist. Yeah. Okay. Basically, I received a private message, Facebook message from her, and she told me that. She was mentally, emotionally, and physically abused while she was growing up by none other than the people who she trusted. Uh huh. Okay, guys, she, they were supposed to protect her from harm, yet they harm her, and these were coming from her family, abused at tender age of seven. Oh my god. Okay, she was accused of things she didn't do, punished for things she was accused of, mm-hmm. and was embarrassed openly by these people to people that barely knew her. So, yeah. uh, we have a sound clipping right. of her short interview. Mm-hmm. Now, this is uh, one of the thing that happened to her when she was still a student right. back then. Uh, I think one of the dog got uh, locked, mm-hmm. and it wasn't my fault. Mm-hmm. But 
they all accused me so, and they were like the whole family was there mm-hmm. but not my parents um one of my uncle actually put his uh, it's okay take your time okay, you can just uh, say it. Yeah, about that. push his back towards my face mm-hmm. and fart on my face Oh gosh, that's the ultimate yeah. humiliation. He d- he did that. Yeah. And why? Because um. Was it done out of anger, out of humiliation? Because he thought I bullied his uh, little girl. Mm. And uh, um, but I didn't do anything. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. Yeah. You, you do realize that some sort that that is some sort of harassment, right? Yeah. Uh, did you uh, did you uh, at the point of time uh. Take it up to someone like do you? No, I wasn't allowed to tell anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not not even your parents. You you are not you are. I mean, you don't even have the courage to tell your parents about this, right? No, because um, I was warned. You yeah. see, um, if I were to ever mention this mm-hmm. abuse to anyone, especially mm-hmm. my parents, yeah. When I go to school, mm-hmm. I cross the road, I'll be killed. So these were the things that they tell you. Yeah. So I got scared, and um, it's this repercussion. Of course, it's like up to now, and I'm scared mm-hmm. to cross the road. Right. So, uh, that was Sarah. Yeah, she was. I think. Would you consider this sexual harassment? Uh, I mean, putting the butt, yeah. I'm mean, putting your butt on someone's face. That's rude, lah, bro. It's it's damn rude, it's, oh. It's damn rude, lah. You know, it's when, damn rude. Listening to her when when she share with us uh-huh. about her experiences. If it were me, yeah. If it was me, were, if your were, uncle put his butt on your face and farted, bro, I'll take tweezer. Uh huh. I pop inside his buttock mm-hmm. I will twist the tweezer <laughs> Then I'll pull out all his shit <laughs> oh, Shit Then I let him just go there Ha ha You shit or oh, You shit Ha ha <laughs> I laugh like that Oh you're quite sick also uh. Uh, bro, It's not sick uh, bro But it's just out of anger uh, bro I have to do it man Yeah. yeah. Depending on how many times He does it on you la, mm-hmm. okay. Usually la. If it's just one off uh, uh-huh. uh, Okay What will you do If it's just one off It was just one hour. Like, hey, Razi, Razi, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, uh, oh, okay. I just laugh lah. Uh, It's one of what? But hmm. what what she went through was... But she's a female, you see. Yeah. She's a lady. She's different. Uh, no, but bro, different. Uh, everybody was like looking at her. Mm. And the uncle suddenly... Because she was accused of regarding about the locked door. Yeah, yeah. Then after the uncle go and take her, push her to the wall mm. and fart on her. And everybody was laughing at her, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was like something serious when she was like seven... Yeah, seven. Yeah, eh? yeah seven years old, man. It's yeah. probably one. There's, bro. there's no love at all, uh, between yeah. them. There must be something happened between their family, their mm-hmm. parents, and their, yeah. their uncle. Yeah. Then, if you were yeah. to be put mm. in that position, lah. <laughs> What the uh, farting thing? Yeah, the farting thing. Okay, let's yeah. let's not give another male to fart at you, lah. Yeah. If it was a uh, auntie, wow. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. I haven't seen oh, how the auntie oh, is like. Okay, okay, okay it's okay, like okay. a Dato Sri Vida, lah. Wow. She's like that's your ah. Uh? Wow. <laughs> Dude, you're sick, man. You just agree about that fifty million, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's no money involved. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there's no, there's no money involved. If, if, if a machi, if right? a machi, like literally, Ooh. you know, a machi that if really my hit, machi did, did that to me. Hits you lah. The one that really hits oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, like yeah. ah, mari kau ah, buka. Then she opens her pants and then she <clears> she put her butt on your face yeah. and then she fart. Ha! <laughs> that everyone, everyone laugh. Our machi hers, yeah. Really, our oh, machi hers. Just say like. Fuck you, you know. Oh, really? That I, will I, be. I, I hope that your butt will swell or whatever. Mm. I just keep on doing that. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. and then I will tell my mom. Or oh, you will tell your parents. Oh, yeah. tell your parents. Yeah. Of course, ah, uh, tell my parents yeah. because your your sister is doing that to mm. me. Yeah, and dare to do that shit in front of me. Mm. So meaning there's no akhlak. The akhlak. Yeah. There's no there's no moral. There's, there's no, no moral. moral, moral that. Yeah. yeah. What's this? Yeah. Mm. I will just maki her. That's all. Yeah. I cannot do anything because I'm. I, okay. I'm trying to imagine that I'm seven, right? Yes. Yeah. So there's no strength. I'm just a kid. Yeah. 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 Right. I can't do that. So I will just maki her until I'm old enough to. Yeah. 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 Old, old enough to what? Old enough to smack her. Oh, I see. Yeah. But you see, if you smack her, yeah. then you are in the wrong. More less, you will be arrested. Can be more less, but if you smack her butt, if you smack her butt. Yeah, it could be that. Is or it? if you punch yeah. her in the face, that's assault. Oh, you see, there's okay. a problem. Smack her butt and smile. Is that wrong? Oh, that's what you're gonna that's do. Even <laughs> that's even more less. That's more less. Yeah, and it could even. I think by then my my auntie is really old. You know. If you at this age <laughs> were to smack a lady's butt who's of that age, and she's and my auntie, yeah, and you smile, yeah, the problem is she might smile back. 
<laughs> yeah. And she's like, can you smack me again? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But you know, okay, back back to back to the question. Yeah, back to the question. Just that, that's just Dana. I'll, I'll just be if, if you bro, is that how? As yeah. a seven year old, dude, yeah. that's the most disgusting thing you can even do to a seven year old. That's the most uh, repulsive, vile, disgusting, full of disdain, <laughs> <laughs> problematic, mm-hmm. um, vulgar thing that you can do. I feel you, bro. To a yeah, seven year you. old man, exactly. Yeah. And you see the way she she explains to yeah. you to mm-hmm. you guys, mm-hmm. it was it was. F- Full of sadness. She can't even yeah. talk. Bro. She can't even talk, bro. Yeah. So, I think that left a very uh, a, a, an indelible mark in in her head until uh, right until now. now yeah. As a mom, she still thinks about it. That right. sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. And if you hear the end clipping, she did mention about some suicidal thoughts. Mm-hmm. Let's hear what she has to say in the next clipping about her suicidal thoughts. And you did you did message me, so you say that uh, you also have uh, suicidal thoughts. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually, I've been warded a few times mm-hmm. in hospital for overdose of um, uh, particular panadols. I can, I uh, know, like uh, flu medicines mm-hmm. or uh-huh. these things, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I actually have a record, and I actually went for counselling and everything, and uh, I went for uh, psychological mm-hmm. uh, treatment, treatment, mm-hmm. and everything. And that was me in my teens. Uh. it's mm-hmm. not easy. I had uh, my first migraine when I was like 12 years old, 13 years old. It mm-hmm. was very bad. So that's when uh, that's that's when I I I took a pen knife and just cut my mm-hmm. wrist. I didn't want to kill myself. Yeah. I just yeah. Yeah. want to stop the pain. Right. Because it's just too much, you know, like mm, I don't know. You can't take it anymore. Yeah, you feel that was the the way out of all this. So th- this is uh, what Sarah had to share yeah. her suicidal thoughts and uh, we'd like to empathize whatever that happened to her. I think suicide is something that is really very serious uh-huh. and if you are experiencing suicide, please seek help. Please yes. talk to someone that you trust. Um, the the way out of it is by communication. It's not by keeping quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know anyone who who experiences experienced suicide before? Yeah, right, Azie. Yeah, I have. I have uh, people who really want to suicide because of depression due to studies. Some of them because uh, uh, they broke up with their girlfriend or boyfriend. Mm-hmm. They really feel like no point living in this world anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so by doing that, just want to tell you guys, if you feel like you're, you want to suicide, just to please people, just stop it, okay? Because my personal personal advice is... We don't live in this world to please people, bro. Mm-hmm. No. Whoa. No, no. Of course, no. It's no, true, no. True, 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 true. But we live in this world to please ourselves first. That's prioritize true. yourself before you prioritize anything else. And now we uh, we want to listen to one more sound clip with uh, Sarah. Yeah. Because she she's a working mom. So uh-huh. um, she has some tips for uh, parents who have kids who are, uh, who's listening to a podcast right now. Parents who are working mm-hmm. yeah. and you're leaving your kids... To care In the care of uh, yeah. other people, right? Yeah. Please, every day when you come back, just ask them. Mm-hmm. Just Make talk sure, to them. Yeah, talk to them. Mm-hmm. And if you see something different, if they're getting macam, like trying to hide something, mm. talk to them. Don't scold them. Talk to them nicely. Yeah. And if they start to you know keep on falling sick and everything, that's a sign that they're actually being abused and they're just asking, seeking for your attention. So, parents who leave your kids to Uh, other people right. look after right please 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 I I beg of you your kids need you so um, thank you once again we'd like to uh, mention to Sarah for coming into thank the studio you. yeah um, you know it's not it's not an easy thing to share your experiences and also your traumatic experience especially mm-hmm. to the podcast audience Um, we're going to take a short break, guys. Okay. Um, we're going to talk a bit more about X10, our sponsor for our podcast. Right. Mm-hmm. So don't go away. We will be back. Welcome back to the podcast. And right now, it is time for another round of Dad's Joke. So for if for those of you who have listened to our podcast, uh, previous podcast, Malay podcast, lah, huh, we uh, talk about... Uh, Teka, no, not teka bunyi ni. Joke pachi-pachi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the Malay equivalent of a dad's joke. So mm. right now, it <clears throat> is the original uh, version of it. So <clears throat> if you've seen a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of YouTubers do this as well. Yeah, but yeah. I think we're the first podcasters to do this lah. So are you guys ready? Okay. Is, is a dad joke and lame joke the same? Uh, actually same. 
Same ah. Same. Oh, same. You can okay. yeah. Oh, you have okay. lim juga. Ah, uh, can can can. No problem. Oh, Are you all searching or what? No, yeah. no. This one I use my own my own uh, common sense one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That means wow. it's gonna be funny. Hmm. Opiasom. Opiasom. Ah, then first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. <laughs> yes, paper, stone. Scissors, right? Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm last. But second, ah. Okay. Dean. So Dean, once you are ready, let's hit us with some dead jokes. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Dad's joke. Wow, so radio. Ah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. That's the joke, bro. What? No lah, no lah. Not even a joke. Okay. So the game is. Uh, we, we, okay, okay. What? <laughs> explain. Explain it. Anyway. Explain it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I forgot. Can you give a more radio like dad's joke, like uh, a trailer? Ah, a trailer. <laughs> Are you ready? Dad's yeah, yeah, yeah. joke. <laughs> Knock knock, who's there? I'm with my knock knock shit. Okay, okay, sorry. Knock knock, who's there? One, one who? One little monkey. Ah ah. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Dean. Yeah. Thank you for your joke. Yeah. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> That is thank so lame. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can well, just yeah, talk yeah, like yeah, normal, huh? Yeah. yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I uh, lost it, man. It's okay. We'd like to welcome Razi right now. Slip my mind. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's hard, oh. Uh, yes, it's hard, no. It's hard. It's yeah. not easy. Why? Just slip my mind. No, we just talk about all this suicidal thingy and yeah, come yeah, back yeah, to yeah, this yeah. game. <laughs> okay. You need to hype up, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Thank you. What have eyes but cannot see? Potato. It's about to answer, but okay. All right, thanks, Razi. Thank you, Razi, okay, for okay. your good, um, good dad joke. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Za. Um. All right. It's time for another dad joke. What are the strongest days of the week? What are The strongest days of the week. What are the strongest days of the week? Saturday and Sunday, because the rest are weekdays. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for the. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Well, fight, ah. Eh? Fight, 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 bro. Yeah. Oh, this is a toughest. This is a tough. This is toughest yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, this is toughest game. Back to me, is it? Yes. Yeah. Wah, oh, go second round, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. That is joke. That's joke. Mm-hmm. What do you call a deer that has no eye? No, no idea. idea. Oh fuck. All right. Thank you, Dan, for your Take lovely. In, yeah. Thank you, Dan, for yeah. the lovely dad joke. And ladies and gentlemen, right now, I would like to invite Roger Razi. Roger Razi. <laughs> Zai, uh, your mouth have to be near to the mic, bro. Oh, sorry. Okay, ready? Yeah. Why do po- po- why do poker cards kept laughing inside the casing? Because inside poker cards got Joker. I knew it. Hmm. Actually, bro, the road they gave you I cannot answer, bro. Yeah, I never answer what. <laughs> no, you cannot like. Okay, for example, like if mm. let's say uh, then you that that jokes right. Yeah. You, you cannot say like, mm, well, it's not. You cannot comment. Oh. Just have to hold. Who tell you cannot comment? Cannot, cannot. Okay, okay fine. That fine. makes us difficult to tahan. Okay, okay, mm, okay. Yeah. Fine. All right. Thank you. So right now, my turn. <laughs> okay. It's time for another death joke. Mm. Death joke. Death joke. What do you call a bee that was born in the United States? What do you call a bee that was born in the United States? A USB. Fuck my life. 
Thank you so as well for the <laughs> yeah. one more, one more. Yeah, no one, no. We need a winner. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank one you more. for the joke. One more. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right now we will. <laughs> wow, this is a challenge, <laughs> One more yeah, with yeah. Dino Rahim in extra round. Here we go. Okay. That's joke. It's a knock knock's joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Ha ha who? Ha she there? <clears throat> ha she there? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Ha she? Okay, now he's like it. Sorry. Thank Sorry, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm You're about to laugh, bro. bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, bro. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I want to pee. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. okay. Right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for oh. all of your three dads joke. Yeah. Oh my god. To no avail. Yeah. We get ready. Roger, Razi. Here we go. Let's listen. Let's go. Okay. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it up. Listen up. Here we go. Dad joke. Hi. Can you spell? I cup, I C U P. Oh, you say I C U P. Oh. Right, Asian. Thank you for your dad's joke. Okay, uh, then, Roger Razi. Thank you. I must thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. Wait, do you have to say thank you? Okay. Yeah, thank you, Razi. Thank you. What? Thank you, Razi. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Lasa, you just forced me to say something. Right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Dad's joke. Listen up and listen well. Dad's joke. Why do you uh, call a bear with no teeth? Why you call a bear with no teeth? Why you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Eh, cipa dah lah, fahsia. Kanina, yo, ito, yo. Don't make this. So, thank you for the joke, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right, thank you guys for listening, uh, tuning in. This is um, the most fun. That was the toughest dance joke ever, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are getting immune to dance joke. Maybe we have to change the schematics of the game. 